Yeah, Gia, and they have quite a few people to help. More than 44 people, including children. That's what the fire department told us. Uh, and they, the good news, though, is no one was hurt. And that's really incredible when you see just how bad this fire was. Here it is. Uh, last night around 10 is when this broke out. A uh, three-story apartment building off Plymouth Avenue, just a few blocks away from North High School. When firefighters got there, there were heavy flames coming from the third floor. You can see the flames jumping from the roof there. And it was from the third floor that the fire department said firefighters rescued two people off two different balconies. Eventually, they did get this fire out, but the fire department told us there is extensive fire and water damage to the building. Chief Brian Tyner told us there were no sprinklers in that building. So I am familiar with uh, these buildings here, and uh, no, they are not sprinkler buildings. Uh, they're not the size that would require would be required to be sprinkler, so they are not. It does have a fire alarm system that gives people warning, but it does not have an automatic sprinkler system. So we're told 22 individual apartments at that complex now can't be lived in, but they shut off utilities to the entire building. So a lot of people needing help this morning. As we said, the Red Cross is helping them with that. As far as how this fire started, we don't know yet. So many affected, so many displaced by this fire. Yeah. Jen, thank you. Jen Austin reporting live this morning.